Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. And I've got my Ruger Mini 14 and we're gonna step back 150 yards with the 5.56 NATO. The optic that I have here is a Bushnell 3 to 9 by 40 millimeter trophy. I've been working on sighting this in. It's been a little difficult, it shouldn't be, but I've struggled with it since the day I got it. I think I've got it close, so we're gonna back up 150 yards, and I'm fully aware that this should be a chip shot for the 5.56, but I'm dealing with uh, some wind, which is pretty normal, but also I'll see how well this optic is sighted in. So let's go ahead and back it up and see how the Mini 14 does. Ruger Mini 14, 150 yards. That last one I pulled high. All right, well, I did well that time. I have to say that it was a struggle uh, with this optic and the wind, but that was a pretty decent series. I think I missed one that I pulled high. I kind of felt that. Other than that, at 150 yards, it's, I think, sighted in. I've. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing quite a bit with it, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this optic on the Ruger Mini 14. As for the rifle itself, it's performing outstanding, and I'm very happy with it, as I've always been ever since I've owned this Mini 14. I've had it a long time, and it has always performed 100%, and it's a little more forgiving than an AR in regard to the types of ammo that you can use. So there it is. I did a little better than I thought. Uh, actually a lot better than when I was practicing off camera, but the Ruger Mini 14 came through. I've had this gun for a number of years. You may notice this one looks a little different. It has an ATI stock with a, a foldable uh, back stock here, a little more tactical. It is called the tactical model. Many of the Mini 14s don't shoot 5.56, the barrel stamped 223 Remington, but this one is a 5.56 NATO. It's a very nice rifle, and I've always enjoyed it. Um, I'm happy to take it back. This was actually a viewer's request, and I'm thinking about doing a more modern review of this rifle, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what the future holds, but I've always enjoyed it. I think it's one fine firearm. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.